Laval Mill Pond has some visitors. Oh, they are beautiful. Look at that, swans. Four of them. What a sight. And it's a cold, windy day today, but they just seem to be out there beautiful. We are so lucky in this area to have some of these different kinds of birds that come and, and rest here for a while. It's great to see them. Swans. the wind. Here is a new place that I've been told about and so I'm very interested because of this boardwalk as the entryway and uh, guess what these things are? Skunk cabbage. Great. And they're uh, very leafed out right now. This is a very rugged entryway. My goodness. An interesting place. I hope the rest of it is as interesting. Welcome to the Harold and Carla Cruz Honey Creek Nature Preserve. So we are very close to Natural Bridge State Park and also to Hemlock Draw. So this would make a great all-day trip, these three places here. All right, here's a little flower and the leaf you got to know. This one is special. All right, it's leaves of three, but it's not poison ivy. Anybody want to guess? It's strawberry. Wild strawberries. And they're tiny. Smaller than a marble. But if you can find a patch of them, they are so tasty. Pick a, a cup full of them in the morning, put them on your cereal, and oh, they are great. Here's another plant with leaves of three. Oh, and this is one of my favorites in the woods here. This is one of my friends, Jack in the Pulpit. I just call him Jack. Yeah, and this is a big one. I don't see the blossom yet, but I don't want to walk over closer because I'm on the trail and I don't want to stay off the trail. But Jack in the Pulpit is one of the really interesting plants in the woods. Get to know Jack. I've taken so many pictures of rocks and bluffs. I was hesitant to even do this. But it's so amazing here. It's just sheer cliffs here straight up and down. Oh, it's just great. Wow. What bluffs. Look at this. The field of beautiful white flowers. It's just a great sight. It's not overcrowded by invasives yet. 
So we need to keep it that way. It's so beautiful to see the spring flowers all around like this. Oh, the ferns are going beyond the frond stage. They're really starting to mature here. But this is still a beautiful stage. Ferns are just such pretty plants. And there's so many different kinds. And in the background, lots of skunk cabbage down there, really leafed out. This area just looks big and bold and primitive. And the trees and the bushes are leafing out. What a sight. All in Saw County. Just walking ahead here. We've got this big tree right over the trail. What a sight. Another little boardwalk area. More water. More marsh. Wow. This is a gotta see place for kids to come out here. Well, first sign of a creek stream. We're all attracted to streams, to water. Looks like it backs up a little bit here. I can hear it. It's so quiet here. I can hear the water. I can hear the wind through the trees. But there are no frog sounds, no bird sounds. Maybe it's the time of the day. I don't know. Looks like we have to cross the creek here, over the stones. Look at this magnificent big tree here. up and up and up and up. Well, I made it across the stream and here we have a wide, shallow area of beautifully clear water and rocky cliffs. Looks like liverworts all along the edge, too, of the rocks. This water is just beautiful. The whole area here is so pretty. Oh, this is an amazing place. We're looking at the understory here. The flowers. And some of these broadleaf plants going to be big plants so during the summertime but I stopped here because of this tree with all of its blossoms on it now today it's cold in the 40s but tonight it's supposed to get the hard freeze so I'm wondering if that's going to do these flowers in on these trees but right now today they're beautiful. The bank where I'm standing is about five feet above the creek here. 
and it's just so beautiful. The sun is sparkling off the waves. The sound of the water is amazing. The bluffs behind it, it's just so beautiful. And it's calming. The water is so clear. first time someplace, everything seems so amazing. Take nothing for granted. And look at this. Look at that little cave area. Oh, and these big bluffs here. I just want to keep taking pictures of this keeping the camera going. It's just so pretty. And little waterfalls like this. It's amazing. Have I said that too much? Maybe. We're coming to another crossing. Looks like the stones are lined up. We'll see about that. I mentioned this big fella once before at uh, Smith Conservancy. Multiflora rose. It is a wicked invasive. Nasty prickers on it. And it gets huge. Looks like we're going into a cave. Can you imagine what this is like when the trees have leafed out? Oh, this is awesome. A little further along on the trail, on the other side of the river, more bluffs, more trees, more rippling waterfalls. What a habitat. What a great place to preserve. These are like magical little inlets here. Big cracks. And signs of when it was a higher water the erosion is carved out. Let's go check out a little further up. Oh, it looks like it's much deeper along by the rock. I bet that's where the trout are. Oh, and look at all those liverworts. Growing on the sides. And the algae in the water just swirling peacefully. Oh, yeah. And up ahead here, more little waterfalls. The creek has changed. The habitat has changed. It's grassy now, and the bluffs are not right near here. It's a five foot drop down to the creek from here. It's much more wooded close to the creek. An interesting change.
and an interesting change. Kind of a little ledge here, rock, about eight, ten inches above the creek. Just very interesting rock formations and the creek itself in a wide area here. But then it looks like the hiking trail ends up there. Here we have three of my obsessions, the water, the roots, and the rocks. Look at those roots coming off those trees. I think a lot of these trees are hemlock trees with the fine needles just growing right out of the rocks, finding any little crack or crevice to hold, in, hold them down. Just amazing. As we can see, the garlic mustard is in flower now, and it'll be producing seeds prolifically very soon. And that's too bad. It's a super invasive, just really takes over. It was brought here for a food, and you can eat the leaves. They're a little bit bitter. I don't particularly like them, but you can eat them. All right, just imagine, with all this area here, with trees and cliffs and marsh and very few people, what kind of species could be here that have been undiscovered? Plant species, animal species, bird species. This is a jewel, this is a treasure. We need to keep places like this and make sure that they don't disappear. We're leaving the Harold and Carla Cruz Honey Creek Nature Preserve. It was a great visit. Nice to get to know this place. Thank you, Harold and Carla Cruz.